Hi everybody, before we get started with the readings, just a quick update. We are now at 47% for my Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program. Thank you all so much for all of your support, especially over the holiday season when everything gets stretched a little extra tight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now on to the readings. Hello there, Scorpio. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast for the week of December 26th through January 1st. Happy New Year's, everyone. Okay, so let's look at Monday. Monday, fellow Scorpios, what we have showing up here is the Queen of Clubs in reverse. Queen of Clubs in reverse just means we're feeling kind of uninspired Monday. This is the day after Christmas after all, so we may not be feeling like doing much. We may be feeling kind of exhausted maybe even. <laughs> But definitely not feeling inspired. We're not feeling like doing a whole lot on um, Sunday. And in fact, this whole thing may have been around the crowds and so many people may have taken its toll on us emotionally as well, especially those of us who are empathic, which were water signs, highly likely that you are. Um, so this may be a day of just kind of being sort of to ourselves and rejuvenating, replenishing um, you know, kind of keeping that energy pure and ours instead of just so much social stuff that normally comes with the holidays. So this is more of a day of rejuvenation, replenishing. This is not as much of a social day as it might normally be um, just because I feel like we're just kind of, we're kind of tired. We're kind of exhausted from being around so many people that does tend to wear us out. So um, there we go. That's Monday. I'm glad we get the chance for some re rejuvenation. Tuesday, what we have showing up is the Nine of Cups in Reverse. Nine of Cups in Reverse, what's going on here? I don't know why I'm having a hard time with this card. Unless this is because it's my sign, too, and I just don't want to face whatever comes up on this card. <laughs> All right, so what's going on here? Help me out, guys. Okay. All right, so Scorpios, uh, for some of us, this, this is going to be actually us, and for some of us, this is going to be somebody near and dear to us, but I do feel like um, there's somebody that's important in our lives, whether it's ourselves or somebody else, who's having a hard time because um, they basically have some kind of hangover. <laughs> Uh, they indulged a little too much on the 26th, and now on the 27th, they're just kind of um, in recovery mode, in recovery mode. I do feel like we've got about a 50-50 split. This can be 50% us, this can be 50% somebody else, so it can come in either way uh, for us Scorpios. Um, what was the other thought that I just had here? What I'm hearing, and I'm sure this will play out differently for all of us, um, is don't give up hope. Those are the words that I'm hearing, actually, as I'm looking at this card. And I think this has to do with um, why we're feeling so rotten, <laughs> or why someone that we care about so much is feeling so rotten. And it has to do with that whatever it is that caused that feeling of rottenness, whether it's alcohol, whether it's something else, um, that there is hope that that can be overcome at some point. Um, I don't feel like this is necessarily the time that it's just dropped completely, never to be returned to again. But definitely the person who is trying to um, rid themselves of this is getting stronger. That's absolutely coming up here. So there's progress being made. It may be very hard to see, but there is progress being made, whether it's yourself or whether it's with a loved one. Um, don't give up hope. Okay. Now, and of course, this is a general reading, so everything I see here won't apply to every single Scorpio. 
And um, also, free will changes everything. So if you hear something that you don't like, um, you have the possibility of changing it with free will should you choose to. Okay, so let's look at Wednesday. Wednesday we do have the Seven of Clubs showing up in reverse. Seven of Clubs in reverse just tells me that there's somebody or uh, somebody or some group of people that you have set some boundaries with. You have, you know, kind of made some rules with them about how things are going to work. And they are pushing those rules. They're looking to see. Um, let's see, how serious was Mr. and Ms. Scorpio? Let's just act like we never heard anything about any boundaries and see if those boundaries are honored or if they're just ignored. So somebody's going to be testing you to see if you're taking your boundaries seriously or not, because if you're not taking them seriously, they surely won't. Okay, so that's what we've got Wednesday. Thursday, Thursday, King of Coins, King of Coins, King of Coins. This is coming in two different ways for me for this time for us Scorpios. So King of Coins on Thursday, some of us are going to have it manifest one way, some of us are going to have it manifest another. Some of us are going to have this manifestation combine and overlap, and some of us are going to have it manifest both ways without necessarily being connected. Did you catch all that? All right, so that's what I like about videos. You can always back them up. <laughs> anyway, King of Coins coming in on Thursday means one of two things. Um, there is going to be, uh, for some of us, someone that we're interacting with who wants to do us some good or help us in some way materially. Maybe they want to take us out to dinner. Maybe they want to help us pay off our car. I don't know what it is, uh, but they want to help us in some way materially. Now, for those of you who are, it does not come in like that, then the other way that this is coming in for me is that we ourselves have some kind of improvement in our own financial situation. Uh, maybe we land a big contract. Maybe um, maybe we complete a big job and we get the final payment. Or maybe, yeah, maybe we get the final payment on a job that has been done for a while and we've just been waiting for that payment to show up and then that's you know, that's basically the job wrapped up when the payment shows up. Any way you slice it, this is an improvement in your financial situation. So that's what I'm saying for us. We either have an improvement in our financial situation on Thursday, or we're having an interaction with somebody who wants to help us out in some kind of material way. Now, obviously, if someone's helping us in a material way, that can bring a financial improvement in our situation. Um, but this can also come in separately for um, some of us. And also, like I said, it'll overlap for some of us as well. And for some, we'll just get one or the other. All right, let's look at Friday, Friday. Okay, Friday, we do have the judgment card showing up in reverse. Now, to me, what this is saying is we're doing something that's sort of spontaneous, spur of the moment, not a lot of planning here. It just sounds like fun, so we do it. I know that's not our normal characteristic, but sometimes we have to let cut loose once in a while. All right, so let's see here on Saturday. We do have the star card in reverse, and the star card in reverse is coming into me as like, um, basically like how I used to feel when I used to take cold medicine. Like I was just not in touch with reality. Like if I could put my hand out and touch reality, reality would be two inches away from my fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of how this feels with the star card coming in in reverse. It's like you're feeling a little bit disassociated. Um, everything feels like it's just not quite within within reach as far as reality. And then also spiritually feeling a little bit disconnected too. Kind of feeling like you're free floating somewhere between what's real and, and the spiritual version of things. So um, it's kind of an interesting type of feeling. But that's what we have coming up there for Saturday. Sunday, we have the Eight of Coins showing up in reverse. This tells me that we are taking a day off on Sunday. We're not getting any work done. So for those of us scheduled to go to work, we may be calling into work or we may be going to work and just not doing much, not you know doing what we have to, but not much more than that. Uh, maybe not even doing what we really have to. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, if you have plans to do some kind of work around the house on Sunday, you may as well throw them out the window, honey. It ain't happening. Not with this card here. No, no, not happening. 
just taking a day off, a relax, a chill day. Um, this may be a day of pampering yourself. Uh, but definitely no work is happening wherever you happen to go. Sorry, just not. Okay, Scorpios, that's our week. Thank you so much, everybody, for stopping by, for hanging out, for liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. I do appreciate all of your support. I do hope, even though we're stuck right in between two holidays this week, I do hope to see some of you here for readings, some of you for Reiki sessions. Reiki sessions are especially good if you want to relax and kind of take some of the stress off from the holiday season. And for those of you that I don't see for either one of those, then I'll see you back here in the next videos. Everyone have a fantastic, fantastic week. Peace out. Hello everybody, this is Amista, and I am coming to you today with something completely different than what you've ever seen here before, completely different than what I ever thought I would do. Um, I have been taking Reiki training, and I've gotten level one, and I've gotten level two, and I really want to take master training because already I've realized that there are other people out there who need to know how to be um, able to do Reiki for themselves and I'm not able, I'm not qualified to show them that or to teach them that or to pass that on to them or empower them with that until I become a Reiki master. And so I was looking into a Reiki master program and I meet all the qualifications as far as that goes. I've been accepted into the master program, but the last little bit of money is what I need some help with, and I'm hoping that you guys um, will help me with that. Um, I need to raise another $3,000 to get myself into the program, and so that's where you guys come in. Um, what I'm doing is I am accepting very happily and very thankfully and very gratefully any donations that you may feel like you would want to give. If you don't want to, obviously, then don't. <laughs> um, but if you do feel like you want to help me to get into this Reiki Master Apprenticeship Program, any help that you, any of you and all of you send is great. Uh, no donation is too small. Um, I just ask that they're over like 35 cents because I think PayPal will take 35 cents of whatever comes in um, as a fee for collecting payment. But anything other than over 35 cents is no donation. Donation is too small. So there's the corrected version of that. Um, and actually, I was looking with I have over 7,000 subscribers. If every subscriber donated a dollar, I would be able to end this um, request. But, so if you would like to donate, I would be extremely thankful. I would appreciate that a lot. Also, I want to do something for you in exchange for donating. So anybody who would donate at all, um, I would like to offer you 15 minutes of uh, free Reiki distant healing. In other words, I would send you some healing energy um, where you would not have to come to my house or we would not have to meet in person. Um, just like I do a lot of my readings by Skype or by phone, I can also send the healing energy without having to be right in front of you. We don't even have to be on the phone or on Skype when I do it, although I will want to touch base with you ahead of time to find out where you would like me to target that energy. If you have any particular thing you want to um, have worked on energetically and also to touch base after it's done just to let you know that I have sent the energy in to check in with you, see how you're feeling, that type of thing. Um, anybody who donates anything more than $50, what I would like to do is send you some Reiki energy. I would send you the same amount of minutes of Reiki energy as you send dollars. So say you donate $50, then I would send you 50 minutes of Reiki um, energy. 
anybody who wants to donate and doesn't want to receive Reiki but knows somebody else that they would like to have the Reiki sent to, um, feel free to let me know that and we, you can gift that Reiki to somebody else and I will just touch base with them, make sure I have permission to send them that energy and um, talk to them about where they would like it targeted and all of that just like I would if I was sending that to you. Um, so that is what I've got going on and I really appreciate like I said, all of the help any of you can send. I know not everybody can send. Not everybody will want to send help, um, but I am hoping that there will be enough to get me into this quickly, quickly. Otherwise, I would probably have to wait, I don't know, six months, a year before I had this kind of uh, money to get myself into there. And I don't want to wait that long. I want to be able to empower people more quickly than that. Um, so what I'm doing is I am in the description section on underneath the video I'm going to send you a link where you can donate and you can choose whatever amount you want to donate and um, I will probably also have that um, showing in the video as well so thank you thank you thank you everybody for listening and for giving this some thought some prayer some attention and um, thank you everybody who actually does donate as well. I appreciate it all. Thank you so much. Peace.